Viva Las Vegas with your neon flashing and your one and bad is crashing. All of hopes down the drain. Viva Las Vegas turning day in the night, not turning night in the daytime. If you see it once, you'll never be the same again. Lake of Dreams, which is in a Parasound Down area, is located right past the Wynn Esplanade. Lakeside is only open for dinner hours, and the dress code is Resort Elegant. We have never been too fond about sitting outside for fine dining, but the wind sure has changed our minds about that. The Lake of Dreams show is complimentary. A different show runs every half hour nightly beginning at 8.30. You're stuck up in my head. Yeah. The Shellfish Plateau is a signature appetizer great for sharing. Lakeside is actually the only restaurant in the Western Hemisphere to offer live, fresh-caught langoustines from European waters. Since the, the day you went away tell me how, how much more do I gotta drink for the pain We ordered the main lobster bake and the boneless ribeye That I just can't forget All the nights we were tangled up in the bed Oh no Like several other Wynn restaurants, there are also vegan options You're going round in circles, got you stuck up in my head we will be back to try the pineapple upside down cake and the coffee 24K. What do they call it in the show? You need to learn how to tie a bow tie. That looks really good on you. Lake of Dreams. Yeah, this guy was like, I haven't done it in a while. I'm not worried about it. I said this already looks better than my wedding. It's like it's a little short on one side. I your sister tied yours, and so she did a good job. And I tried the tip of but he would not take it. Why? I don't know. Yeah. So Sam Marie. So maybe. no, no front desk, no help desk, no pit bosses. No one knew how to do it. Louis Vuitton store. None of those stores knew how to do it. Only guy was. So you walked around to all these different stores to try and get somebody to tie your bow tie, yep. and nobody knew how to do it. Right. Wow. The only person was Sam. It's right past Louis Vuitton. Oh, Sam Edelman. No. Sam Edelman? Or is it like Salvatore something? No. No? Are you sure? For Baggio yeah. or something? Yeah, it's something like that. But it's right past the Louis Vuitton. Like when you come out of elevators, it's right to the right. Okay, I think it's Salvatore something. Past the Louis Vuitton. Oh, yummy. That's hot. We do not need that anymore. Thank you. We're gonna do a bottle of the Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio? Yeah, Santa Margarita. It should be like 78. It was Italian. Oh, I don't know what that was. It was Italian. White wine. Maybe on page 13. Thanks. Actually, yep, switch. That one right there. Can we switch it? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I was a professional server in my other life. Barely Thank you so much. He knows to give me more. 
I love it when, I don't know why, but I love it when people know how to do correct wine service. He must be a sommelier, he, he's probably the sommelier though. Do you know what correct wine service is? What is it? Asking for the cork and to leave it on ice and blah, blah, blah. No. You present the wine, you take the cork out, taste to me, I say it's good. I heard the cork pop. Taste to me, I say it's good, and then he pours you and then pours me. That's just how it's supposed to be done. But people don't really do it that way, but that's how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, they always pour the person first who tasted it. Yeah, but that's what he did is how it's supposed to be done. I used to be so afraid of opening wine. So I started working at Bruce Chris, and then I was just like opening wine like every day of my life. So I was like, ah. Who cares? I actually used to have other servers when I worked at the Skate Factory. I'd be like, can you open my wine at my table for me, please? I was so scared. Everything's great. Thank you. Who doesn't care about you? <laughs> this is no Mizumi, that's for sure. I would have filled up my water like 10 times by now. He would have filled up my water like 10 times by now. Well, that guy was really good though. That one guy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you gonna make it? Another oh. early night for Sarah and Joe. You're really not gonna eat that? That's full. Are you serious? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks. About time. And we are going to review ambiance first. Ambiance. Ambiance. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Nine and nine. Nine, nine. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so what time is of the year is it? It's June 1st, right? It's in the shade. It's shade all around. There's no humidity here, so, or if there ever is, it's very rare. So it's like, basically perfect temperature out here. It like couldn't be, you're just, it's gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. I think the shade's what helps with it, that there's shade all around. So you're never in direct sunlight. Yeah, it, well you can tell though, it like it starts to get shady because it was like coming, and when we sat down like this is very hot. So yeah. it's obvious it was in the sun earlier, but it's like it goes By time, dinner way. time. By dinner time, it's all in the shade. Inside looks beautiful, just like Mizumi did yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, anywhere on the, the water and wind seems absolutely gorgeous. But if you want to see the show, don't come until 8.30. Because yep. the show doesn't start at 8.30. But it's still, like, nice. We're That's right the on, first show. You can't see it, but we did take some video and photos. But we're right on the lake. Yeah. And he well, said you can, Lakeside. you can go up to Paracel up after dinner if you wanted, after 8.30. And, there's Watch a bar the up show. there and everything. They have tables up there, so. Yeah, they've got a little balcony right here that you can come out on. Oh, maybe that is what it is now. Yeah, okay. yep, that's what that is. All right. So next is service? Yep. All right, service. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. I gave it a nine. Eight and a half. So. I have no complaints, to be honest. I'm just. Yeah, once again, no complaints. We still like. We expect over the top paying these stupid prices. No one's really, I feel like, gone over the top. This guy was really nice with our to go food. He's like, you want me to put the butter in the ramekin? Nice. Well, so was um, the other guy. It was like, oh, those, you know, it's not going to be a good view until this time. And 
And the, oh, yeah. the hostess had a lot of patience with oh, us yeah. trying to put that a table. That was a pain. We only did this on the iPhone, and we didn't want to put a big camera with everyone block around. The view, yeah. yeah, or block the, anyone's like everybody view. Everybody was very nice. And the sommelier came out, and he actually did correct wine service. Does it happen often? That's me being a snob. I actually, like, like I would care, honestly, if someone didn't do it. I mean, I might judge them, but I'd be like, no, nah, whatever, just give me my wine. Right. Because like you, know? you said, usually once they have the person tasted. Oh, thank you. We're not. We're good. I'm sorry. We're too full. Thanks. Yep. We are. Yep. Oh, thanks so much. Okay. Hopefully something little. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Okay. All right. So we are on to... Never mind. We increase our service to 10. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're rating the beverages. Three, two, one. Eight, a seven. I said seven. Yeah. I have an eight. Okay. Um, I got that strawberry spritz drink and it was okay. It wasn't like... It was fine, like it was great, uh, but it wasn't like, ooh, this is so good, I'm gonna order this again. I wouldn't order it again. I knew what I was getting when I ordered this wine because I used to work in a restaurant and then a Santa Margarita uh, Pinot Grigio is like really good Pinot Grigio. And I knew we were getting a pr good price for it. So that's why I ordered it. But we normally don't rate the wine. I mean, it's wine at all. We usually rate the cocktails. We didn't get many cocktails. We don't have much to judge on. It seemed average, like she said, nothing uh, we would order again. Food. Three, two, one. Nine and a quarter. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Um, I usually don't like charred steak at all. I don't even know why I ordered it, but that's probably the best charred steak I've ever had. Um, the mashed potatoes were almost perfect. The whipped potatoes. Yeah. Were, whipped potatoes. They actually were really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, all the seafood was pretty good. I'm not a big seafood fan, but... Did you even try any of the seafood? Yeah, I had the, oh, the crab. Oh, you had, had the lobster? I had a little bit of everything. Okay. So I thought it was all really good. Um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks Appreciate so much. It. Thanks. You know, my fingers. Uh, and when you... So, got any of the food you want to talk about? I didn't have all the seafood. was cooked great. The steak, I think the steak was a tiny bit overcooked. Yeah, I think I, yours I, was actually a little bit less than yeah, mine. Yeah, we had two different pieces. It was a huge steak. It was like so thick, it was like that. Yeah, but, uh, it's only supposed to be, what, they said 18 ounces? Or, I don't said, know. He said 18 or 16, I can't remember. But it was huge. It was, at first he said 12, and I was like, that was a pretty big steak for 12 right. ounces. Like I said, we kind, we kind of made our own surf and turf with that, yeah. ordering the... All the seafood was rib so eye, good, though. The seafood. And the ribeye was good. Don't get me wrong. The ribeye was good. Even I think, the pork I think belly it was, was pretty good. A tiny bit, a little overcooked the, the steak, steak, but not enough to, for me to be like, okay, no, I can't eat this at all. Right. Like it was, it was, it was good. Everything was yep. great. Good enough when like. we're taking some back to the room. And we yeah. almost never take leftovers, especially when there's not a fridge. The wind can't give us a fridge. Terrible. Um, yeah, so that's that. Overall, Lakeside, two thumbs up for me. I would come back here for sure. Yeah. I might not go back to the city. Why? I think, I mean, maybe I would actually. I would want to go back because I would want to get a, a, an actual roll. I almost like to see more. I didn't get a roll. I wanted a roll. I thought I was getting a roll with a sandwich. I think the food is more superb at Luzimi than here. Yeah. And it's I don't even like that type of food. It's different. Right. Yeah, okay. All right, fair like, I think that's the best of the best. Like, if you want sushi or that type of food, like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To me, yeah. that's the best. Oh, like, yeah, this, I feel like true. I get a better steak somewhere else or similar with potatoes somewhere know. else. Maybe. No, it was really okay. good, but I'm just saying it's not the best steak I ever had. The Zumi, I'm like, oh, this is the best snapper I've ever had. You've never had snapper before. Well, I usually won't eat raw fish. But the shrimp tempura, or the lobster tempura, the lobster tempura that was the was best so I ever good. had. Yeah. That asparagus. Anyways, we're not supposed to be talking about last yeah. night. But I would 
even the four tables, I was a little more secluded. Here it's a little out, you hear everyone around you. So yeah, I, I would pick Mizumi, surprisingly. I was least looking. We're eating here, Steve Wynn and Mizumi, for the three nights we're here. And I was least looking forward to Mizumi. 